we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, we believe that you are the Father of love, the Father of forgiveness. We believe that you will change our destiny. We believe that we'll receive the promise that you will change our children. May we completely repent and become righteous and to receive our desires and to receive the promise that our descendants will do well. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24. Let's find that. Why is it that I'm not doing well? There are some people who really can't do well, even though they're repenting. Isaiah chapter 44, Verse 24 uh, What page is it? 1022 Okay, has everyone found it? Let's first read um, verse 24 Thus says Jehovah your Redeemer, and the one who formed you from the womb. I, Jehovah, am the maker of all things, stretching out the heavens by myself, and spreading out the earth all alone. Amen. So this is God speaking to us. He says, Only the p one who can forgive you and make you is is God when he created you in your mother's womb it's he who created you so if you want a descendant who is smart um, a pastor is receiving prayers from me so that he can have a baby his why because his father his grandfather were wicked so they all died by f 40 um, by cancer and so his children are really stupid even in year three they cannot write so according to your ancestors sins you are created in the womb you cannot escape from this so you were created in the womb by him why is it that we only have descendants like this because that's what you've done what your ancestors have done because you haven't repented so according to that exactly bad children come out so why do I have this personality because your ancestors have passed it exactly down to you and so you have received that exactly so when you realize this you can't curse your children instead you're busy repenting instead of saying oh who are they resembling it's you that is busy repenting if you grumble against your ancestors you will be ruined so God is making you realize what your ancestors have done so that you can be forgiven so those families who are informants who slander those descendants cannot do well so have a look in your genealogy what did your ancestors do they were so filthy but you don't think about repenting of that so when you were created in your mother according to your ancestors sins you were formed so there are people who are good at informing that family will be completely be ruined when they die it is so filthy they cannot do well that's Proverbs chapter 10 verse 18 they are so pitiful who were the ones that informed on Jesus those who deserve wrath if you read the Bible and don't even understand those basic things so it's God who creates you 
but he creates you according to your ancestors' sins. So some people, so people whose destinies aren't being released, it's because their ancestors were so filthy. I'll read it again, verse 24. Thus says Jehovah, your Redeemer, and the one who formed you from the womb, so in your mother's belly. So what did he form you with? 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 to 6 he forms you according to what your ancestors have done why aren't you doing well because you have received exactly what has been planted so this is when you repent this is a huge realization but if you do not realize but once you realize you will start to do well that's what the father is teaching us here why is it that all I have is this suffering because your ancestors have harmed others and it's come down to you so when I go to work how am I treated by others well it's exactly what you and your ancestors have done so instead of grumbling and complaining we should repent if we repent we live but those people who say there's nothing to repent of it is really sad there are so many things to repent of but instead of repenting they say God fix my personality if you don't repent he can't fix you so are you going to grumble against your parents oh mother father you know this is what you did to me yes those filthy things have come down to you but it is God who creates you oh why is my personality like this well, it's what your ancestors have planted and it's just being returned to you. Why is my life filled with thorns? Because that's all your ancestors planted. Why is it that my children aren't doing well? Because that's what your ancestors planted. So this is what God says here. But if you scorn this word, Psalms, chapter 107, verse 10, you will have a filthy disease you go to hospital they say you don't have a disease but you'll suffer and whatever you do won't work out and then you it will go down to your children so you want to do that and then say that you believe in Jesus even if you have to fast for you do few days and mourn you have to fix that so God's word says I've formed you according to your ancestors sins so law so what do I do I repent and I say law what have, why have you given this to me what is it that I have to realize so so it's not our ancestors who have formed us it is God according to what is being planted so if I can't know by looking at myself have a look at your children Ah, this is what my ancestors have done. This is how filthy our family is. It's God who fixes this because he forgives us. So when he points something out, we have to repent. Okay, so we've got limited time. We're going to skip over this. I, Jehovah, am the maker of all things. So it's God who's created all of creation. Those people who don't know this they're not men but many people don't know this those people who say they believe in Jesus who go to church when a problem happens they don't realize it is God who has made this it's not they don't realize it's God who's given this to me and instead all we know is oh you know this is unfortunate or Oh, it's that person's done it to me. It's because they haven't received the gift of faith, so that that's why they don't know. So some philosopher or... If you haven't even received the gift of faith, you don't know Jesus. But fake Christians, they listen to that and they say, wow. For example, in, in Korea, you know, someone may speak about Jesus saying oh this is what I think Jesus is like but he that person doesn't even have faith so they're speaking what is opposite and yet people say oh that professor that his words are so great 
That's because you have demons inside of you. You have to receive the gift of faith to know God's word. Why can't you make God's word yours if you don't repent? You know, if you just say, oh, God must have made everything, that's a fake. When you say God made all these good things for me, then that's someone with faith. So, if you don't have thanksgiving, then you're not a man. Why are you hearing things? It's for you to repent. It's for you to receive blessings. That's so when you hear something it's for you to receive blessings but instead of giving thanksgiving you do something else so what are we doing are we giving thanks no why oh if someone gave me a lot of money then I'll give thanksgiving but if you put your worth on money then you're not a man we're above money we're above fame so if you and I aren't doing well did your, were your ancestors um, parliamentarians or, or some, in some ministerial position that means you've got a lot to repent of some people who really aren't doing well you look inside your genealogy it's because your ancestors had some high position or title that's why because they did evil to others that's why you're not doing well open your your genealogy and have a look so God is telling us what does it say it says stretching out the heavens by myself and spreading out the earth all alone God is not someone who consults with others there's no one who has power like God it is only God who can forgive us it is only God who can return to us what we have planted so we have to meet God verse 25 causing the omens of boasters to fail so liars who are these liars many, many people say oh that person's a liar oh the three wise men they lied because they promised the king Herod and yet they went somewhere else inside of Christ is not a lie outside of Christ is a lie everything outside of Christ is a lie so everything you do without faith is sin Romans everything you do without faith is sin Romans chapter 14 verse 23 so a liar Revelations chapter 21 verse 8 you will go to hell so everything you do without faith is a sin so David, when he escaped from Saul, when he, when he was running away, so he even had to run to his, to his um, enemy, enemy, uh, enemy nation. And so God makes David into a liar. He pretends to be insane. So, do we say David is a liar because he pretended to be crazy? No, it's God who did this because that was the only way for him to survive. So, you know, he was dribbling and pretending to be insane. And someone, a family that doesn't believe in Jesus, there will always be someone who is, who is crazy. And so, and so when... Uh, so when they saw David, he was like, oh, I've had enough of mad people in my family, and he sends David away. So the three wise men aren't liars. If you're being guided by God, that's not a liar. But if you live by your thoughts and your theories, that's a liar. So you have to discern. If you do forced your repentance, that's not a lie. There are times when you need to do that. God makes you do that. Let's realize properly. So outside of Christ, those who lie, we have to, are causing the omens of boasters to fail, making fools out of diviners. So if you do a lot of fortune telling, either you or your children will turn insane. So if there are crazy people in your house, it's because your ancestors, they did a lot of this, this fortune telling, this, 
this shamanism or 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 psychic um sometimes if you feel like oh i'm going to go crazy it's because your ancestors did a lot of this fortune telling so why aren't you doing well this is what we have to realize why is it when god's word is being spoken your children start to cry it's because your ancestors did a lot of fortune telling why why is your heart not stable it's because your ancestors did a lot of this fortune telling and 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 spiritual um they were spiritual mediums so who are these fortune tellers so you want to do well you want to have more that's why you go to fortune tellers it's those who are who have achieved something or have something they're the ones that go to fortune tellers people in in who have a title or a position you know back when these men would have seven or eight wives and so the wives you know they would seek out fortune tellers and see how they could get rid of one of the wives so this is what makes our children crazy it makes me crazy so those who do fortune telling they become crazy so making fools out of diviners if you repent of this you will be released god says it's because of sin that you don't do well so if you repent then you do well so making fools out of diviners causing wise men to draw back and turning their knowledge into foolishness just because you have worldly knowledge if you act like you're clever because of that wisdom without faith is a wisdom that makes you ruined if you use someone like that 100% you will be ruined i don't know who has run the economy but why is it that all this money has disappeared everything you do with your knowledge your wisdom 100% you will be ruined everything where you live as if you're smart you will be ruined you look at people who don't do well they act as if they're so smart we have to live by god's wisdom and knowledge by repenting so is it the father's wisdom and or knowledge or is it my knowledge if you're grumbling complaining making excuses that's demonic 100% you'll be ruined god's wisdom and knowledge more and more you do well but your wisdom 100% you'll be ruined those people who study in the world you know they're supposed to be the smartest they're ruined it happens according to the bible what about joseph he didn't even study but because of god's wisdom he became governor of the world the bible isn't playing around you know it doesn't matter if you if you're not educated god's wisdom um proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 don't grumble against your parents god's wisdom saves you and it saves others if you go along the streets people put up signs about the chi energy what is that it's nothing what is this chi it's it's the character shows that water is running down and inside of the character there are four dots so that's four step repentance and yet people don't know this what is water water is baptism it's repentance and yet people say other things the character for chi so this chi energy is 
inside of each person there is a soul and even animals have this soul inside of that soul what sticks demons so that that demon is the chi energy so if you if you have a demon that is a thief then you're really good at stealing if you have a fortune teller demon then you're good at fortune telling you know these these three and four year olds who are prodigies it's because if that demon sticks to you then you're good at that thing if you lay hands and you cast out that demon they're nothing it's nothing so where there is a soul there is this chi energy according to the demons there's there's a there's different demons if the demon is quiet then you're quiet you know if you're a fortune if you have a fortune telling demon you're always jumping up and down so there was this daughter of a fortune teller even though she's never she's never did she never did shamanism when she was when I laid hands she she knew she was able to do that shamanism straight away without without having it done before and she knew how much her mother charged for each customer so there's all sorts of these chi energies if you go to a a psychic they don't do it they call upon a, a demon and they and they do it with the demon so to cast that all out and to live rightly that is the spirit of God so if you have the spirit of God those shamans those psychics can't do anything they actually become afraid and they say go away so people act as if this chi energy is something new but it's all in the Bible when God created us He created darkness and light. That's yin and yang. So that's where, you know, this this demonic um, this demonic knowledge has come from. But because people don't know how to go to the light, all they have is this darkness, which is the elementary worldly knowledge, and yet they act as if it's something great. You know, in the world, no matter how great that chi energy is, it is still the world of demons. You know, these shamans, these psychics, they all have this, the fortune tellers. God says there are these filthy demons. If we do not repent, we have demons inside of us. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. So all this chi energy, that is all of the demon world. So the only way to get rid of all this is by the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit. John chapter 3, verse 6. It's frustrating because you don't know this. Don't try to memorize this. We have to live this in our lives. Before the Holy Spirit comes, I do not change. My actions don't change. My heart doesn't change. So we have to receive the Holy Spirit for my heart and my actions to change. So those people who are psychics and, and mediums, it's all part of the demonic world. All that fortune telling, it makes your descendants become insane. That's what the Bible says. So after doing all that, the psychic readings and the fortune telling, you just sit there. You act as if it's, you know, nothing. But when you get married and you have children, you'll have children who are crazy. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to you know cry and pray then no do it early rather than late let's repent and wash it all that's what god has what god is teaching us verse 25 causing the omens of boasters to fail so those who do things without faith no matter how much you plan no matter how much uh, whether it be um you manage you have management plans or education policies or it will all be ruined who are the liars everything you do without faith 
is a lie. Romans chapter 14, verse 23. So all those things will be ruined. So you will be ruined, you'll make others ruined, your country will be ruined. So that's when we have to teach people properly. Why is it that we have to hear the pastor's words? Because those correct words save you, others and your family. So what is the pastor's words? Someone who's always in this word, who's always meditating on this word. He speaks. He teaches you correctly. So if you don't want to be ruined, you have to hear God's word. But pastors these days, instead of saying God's word, they say other things, worldly things, demonic things. That's why people don't want to hear it. We have to speak God's words, making fools out of diviners. So those who are fortune tellers, psychics, mediums, he will make them crazy. So when you go to a cafe, you know, you flip a, a coin already that's making you and your children crazy why do something that is unnecessary the fact that you're already trusting in that depending on that you know you're expecting some some good outcome you and your children will become crazy if God puts that spirit of insanity inside you you will become crazy so if your ancestors w lived well, they were well off, they did a lot of fortune telling. Poor people, they can't do that. You know, back in those days, you had to offer a sack of rice. So if you couldn't pay that, they wouldn't, um, you know, do a reading for you. So it's the descendants of the well-off, the wealthy, that are crazy, that we're crazy. So if we repent, this all ends, causing wise men to draw back and turning their knowledge into foolishness. What is this? What does this mean? So what sin is God pointing out? There's no one who will lend their things or or make a contract with someone who is crazy. So it's someone who does this fortune telling, it's someone who depends on their knowledge. So instead of saying, oh, our country is being ruined, God's saying, you, you pay attention. You do the right thing. So if your parents are a mess, they're alcoholics, you know, they go to fortune tellers, it doesn't matter if the children do the right thing, that family would do well. If the parents are crazy and doing other things, as long as the children are doing the right thing, that family will do well. The parents, no matter how smart they are, if the children are crazy, that family cannot do well. So don't talk about the government. Starting from me, when you hear things, let I have to repent and do well. God's word says you do well. Everything is happening for you to realize, for you to repent. So let's repent of it as mine. And so that I have peace, so that I overflow with joy. And when I have confidence that I'm doing well, that's when I should pray for others to do well. That is Jesus. That is a Christian faith. So someone not doing well, it's because you're doing crazy things. It's because you trust in yourself. You trust in, you depend on your knowledge and wisdom. The only one we can trust in is the Holy Trinity. Someone who trusts in themselves is a fool. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 26. That fool is someone who is proud. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 3. If we are proud, 100% will be ruined. So on TV, if some politician comes out proudly, I can see that they and those around them will be ruined. And in a little while you hear it. Why? Because God does not leave the proud alone. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 5 it says God opposes the proud so they come out on TV and they're acting so arrogantly and I think I don't know which party they're from but that party will be ruined no matter how clean that water is if you put a spoon of poo in there then all of that water is ruined what does this mean what kind of person are you in your family are you a pillar that's holding up your household or are you rotten and bringing it down? Today, let's repent and live. 
you know when I look it's so pitiful people are so shameless when your conscience is seared you do not understand as I meditate on the word when I was young the adults in our family my mother she received Jesus but the you know back in those days women they they couldn't do anything um, they had no rights all night they'd be working um, you know they would try to prepare the barley and all night long and in the morning then they'd be um, then they be rebuked women even though they couldn't sleep during the night that's that's why they got sick that's why they died so so early because they had this 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 grudge inside of themselves you know these days we're so comfortable the Israelites were made to suffer because even though they worked why why did they suffer so that their descendants wouldn't increase but there's no recording that they died from from fatigue it's because you have a lot of sin that God kills you not from fatigue so God says today your past what your ancestors have done this is what causes you not to do well you know how can we sit there God creates us in from the womb and your ancestors if they were they did fortune telling and and divination then our descendants will become crazy so God's voice may we hear it as my blessing so verse 26 confirming the word of his servant and performing the purpose of his messengers so here it talks about servant so it's where Israel changes from a servant to a chosen one and then to a friend so the counsel of God's messengers when you hear these words you have to repent verse 26 confirming the word of his servant and performing the purpose of his messengers it will happen exactly so you need to repent it is I who says of Jerusalem she shall be inhabited and of the cities of Judah they shall be built and I will raise up her ruins again So in North Korea, even though in, they're in ruins, just by sending rice, that's not how they do well. If God changes those ruins to an oasis, then it will happen. It's not by human methods. The only way, the best way to help them is by prayer. Mark chapter 9 verse 29. There is no other way but prayer. But he hears the prayer of the righteous. So we have to repent of our ancestors doing fortune telling and how we live according to our knowledge and our, our, our theories where, oh, I've got a doctorate. Instead, we have to repent and live by God's wisdom and knowledge. So why is it that we are hearing this? If God uses you, he uses those who are fools in the world if you act like you're better you're an enemy of God Matthew chapter 11 verse 25 if you act like you're wise if you act like you're better God is not with you who does God use those who are scorned those who are nothing in this world the weak the poor the unlearned he uses those people because they don't have anything they say I can't do it but when they repent those people who say I can't do it I when Moses at age 40 he said use me but then at age 80 when he said I can't do it that's when God uses him so when we hear this word starting from me I have to repent it's that person that God uses to 
fulfill his will. That's why we're hearing this. What kind of person am I? Am, am I someone who, who can be like this? Today, let's hear the word and fix this. In, within repentance, all the answers are there of how to do well. So if you read to the end, it talks about the, um, the King Cyrus. He's used in order to, to rebuild Israel. When God works, even our enemies help. That's what it's saying here. That's the last verse. We don't have time, so we've left a few out. But when you repent, God will make you repent, realize. So we have heard God's word. If you, if you, if you, if you have many idols, fortune telling, then you and your children will be crazy. You'll be half crazy, your children will be fully crazy. If you act like you're smarter, I'm going to live my way. 100% you'll be ruined. That's what God's telling us. So, our past, how we've lived like this. Even if you say you believe in God and yet you're living according to the flesh, the blessings that Jehovah has prepared, we cannot imagine. When I go overseas, I experience this so much. So, when you go to your workplace, you know, how much are you earning that you can't come to church? Why are you doing that? So you don't put God first, you put money first. That's why you don't do well. You have to make God first. People who aren't doing well, they always put money first. They put themselves first. So they love themselves, they love money. That person cannot meet God. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. There is no way you can meet God. So let's become someone who meets God. Then God has prepared all our blessings. So this is talking about whether me, my children, are ruined or, or going to become crazy. Let's repent of this and live. Let's close our eyes quietly. Why is it that my conscience is seared? I feel nothing. Even though my ch family isn't doing well, whether I look at myself or my spouse or my children, you think that person isn't in their right mind. They're not treated as, as humans by anyone. Why is it that they're treat mistreated? It's because they're crazy. They're, they're not in their right mind. It's because our ancestors served uh, uh, idols they did fortune telling or they went to um, some medium psychics why is it that wherever you go you're not treated well why is it that my children are like that why is my family like this because there's something wrong they're either crazy or they're just about to become crazy so God is telling us why is it that everything you do is ruined you don't do well because you live according to your knowledge as if you are smarter if we confess these sins God will forgive us it's because of my flesh that's why we've committed so much sin that's why God makes our flesh so tired so that we can become a blessed man so as we repent if you fall asleep once you're forgiven of sins, do you know how much that tiredness disappears and how much health you receive, how much of God's wisdom and knowledge you receive? May you receive the blessings where God is with you. Father God, thank you so much for these realizations. How have I lived so far? You've taught us, so we thank you. If we have a right relationship with you, even our enemies will help us. We, we believe in this word. If our family's hearts, uh, our children, they're strange, it's because me, my ancestors, we had so many idols. Please, may we receive forgiveness today. May we receive forgiveness today. Those who mourn are blessed. May we freely mourn and be forgiven. Father God, may our thoughts be your thoughts. May our actions please you. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. 
those who do fortune in telling those who live by their thoughts will be ruined please forgive our past how have I lived so far help us to confess so that our descendants our children can do well may this be a time where we are forgiven <laughs>